YouTube, YouTube, what it do, loved ones, you know the motto, if you can, after the story, go over there, hit me with a like, which is a thumbs up, and that'll let me know I'm kicking my stuff. Today, I got a legendary friend of mine by the name of LSD, and this topic today is about modern women from a hood perspective. So I got you on the line, dog, and I want to know what's the difference you think between the females back in our era versus the females now, whether if they was low class or high class? I think uh, the females now, they just hell of money hungry. You feel me? Like they worship money. I mean, it was kind of like that back in the days, but it, it, it didn't take much. You feel me? Now it's like... All these females just you, you, like you got to be a baller, you know what I mean? They got all these accessories to fix themselves up. You know, you, they come with the eyelashes, the, the the caked up makeup. You know what I'm saying? The weaves and all this old shit, fake everything. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, us men, we all natural. You know what I'm saying? We we trying to shoot our shot, and it's like. They just, they just, they just want the highest bidder, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Every, everything is about bread. I mean, like, and now they ain't, they ain't even like, 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 you know, I'm mean, hearing some shit like, you know, what I'm saying, like, if you got a nine to five, like, that ain't, that ain't cutting it. Like, if you, you out here, you know, bust your ass on a nine to five, it's like that's not desirable no more. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So what they looking at as desirable? Because if you ain't getting a bag, if you ain't nine to five, then. And, and, and the hustling ain't like it used to be. What are, what are they expecting, you know? Bro, you know, from what I see, all these bras is like really just, just all I'm like want a rich, a rich, a rich dude. You feel me? Or a nigga with a magic bag. You know, because to me, you know, from what I've been hearing from the cats I've talked to, like, most of these bras is, is selling that thing, homie. You feel me? Right. On some level, you right. know? I'm not saying that they on a... They, I mean, you got some... A lot of bras, you know, they selling that thing off, off of, you know, the little DMs they get on their motherfucking uh, social media. You feel me? Right. So, I don't know, man. It just seemed like... From, oh. my, from, from my perspective, homie, it, it was... It, it started... When that recession hit, like in 08, bro, you feel me? When that recession hit in 08, a lot of people was, you know, it was, it was like desperate measures. You feel me? And people had to, you know, you know, do what they had to do to keep a roof over their head to feed their kids. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's when, you know, morality kind of like went out the window a little bit. You know what I mean? But from there, it got worse and worse, you know? So in our era, you do what's the home girls or the females around us? Was they was they selling that they thing, homie? Nah, nah, they were just trying to have a good time, homie. You feel me? All you had to do back then is show a female a good time and some attention, and like you liked her, homie. You feel what I'm saying? If she felt you and she liked you, that's all it took, homie. You know. And you then went, went. go ahead. Got, and then with homies. Uh, to piggyback what you saying with homies at that time having bread and us just knowing how to treat a female, we was blessing them with change in the spot because some of them had to hold down some of them spots. So they were staying with their hair done, staying with some herb and a few dollars to go to the movies and hang with some friends, homie. And they was cool with that versus today times, homie. Man, here's the thing. When you know a female ain't trying to use you, homie, she just really appreciates your company and your presence. You don't mind doing shit like that, homie. You feel me? Right. But when a female is just like, you know, she she she's a money worshiper, and she just she willing to, you know, what I'm saying, do strange things for change, and you know, and and she ain't. It's like you know, she ain't got no morals about herself, like no integrity. She just wants the bag, homie. You feel me? You gonna look at a female like that differently. So, so, so when we was having, just say, a female we was having back in the days, how do you think they feel about the, the, the modern females, homie? I think they see the shit too. You feel me? 
Because a lot of these young chicks is, is their daughters, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and probably their granddaughters, you feel me? Right. But it's just a whole nother culture right now, bro. You know, because you got the social media. I mean, I remember back in the days, you could fuck around and, and go to the supermarket and, and crack you a bad female, you know, and she ain't really been out the house. She, she worked and go home, and she ain't really got no access to a lot of people like that. So you, you, you stumble across a bad one, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And she, and she just, you know, she, she looking for some excitement. Right. But nowadays they got the social media, homie, at the push of a button. This bra see, you know, thousands of men is, 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 you know, trying to holler at her and compliment her. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And uh, DMing her, you know what I'm saying? Propositioning her. That shit changed the game up, bro. So as us being men, homie, should we... Just say dudes of us as that single men or something, homie. Should we? Should we? Should we just say if we want to kick it, have a good time, you know, spin the bag, homie, and keep it moving, or should we just, you know, pump the brakes and be like, you know, we need to go. It, it need to go back to the tradition, homie, because we blowing their heads up too much and they ain't appreciative to 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 who's patronizing them or who's trying to holler at them. Do do what? What do we do? You think? Well, I think based on the mentality of the females now, I feel like men need to have self-control and not be so lustful, because that that's what's putting that's that's what's putting the ball in the females' court. You feel me? Right. You know they think they can put on all this fake shit and just blow a nigga mind. You feel me? Niggas got to have more self-control, bro, and just you know what I mean. Judge a female for who she is, not by how she look. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, us as men, we visual. You know what I'm saying? But but that shit can get you in trouble, homie. I mean, you feel me? Just right. being just overly visual and just lusting over, you know, what you see. Not 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 knowing what you're getting yourself into, bro. You feel me? Right. So do you think it's females out there that still... Because I know when we was coming up, homie, like you said... Females, you know, they they like they want getting out the house. They wanted to see, you know, different things that they couldn't see. They could venture off with us. Might have not had a vehicle. We had vehicles. So, so you look at female. Do you think some of them still like G's, homie? Still like dudes of our caliber, homie? Or what you think? Yeah, I just think that, nigga, if you like, uh. Let's say 46. And you like young females, like like that's let's say 10 years younger than you or more. Right. You're gonna have a problem. You don't say what? 26. You're gonna have a major problem. Cause it, it, they not the same no more, bro. Right. They, they 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 you need if you that age, if you in your mid to late forties, you need to fuck with somebody in your age bracket. Not saying they can't be a few years younger, but once you go to a whole step down to a whole nother generation, bro, it's gonna be problems. It's gonna be problems. So you saying if a, if a dude of our, our of our age group, from our age group to a solid fifty, if we mess with some a, a young female twenty five, it's gonna be some problems. You gonna be spinning the bag. Put it that way. No exceptions. So it ain't no, it ain't no more of them spinning the bag on us. You might catch a couple, but it, that's rare now. You saying that shit is rare, and you just, you just, you gotta be that nigga though. You feel me? Like I ain't saying it ain't possible, but right. you got, you got to check them boxes, homie. And you got, you got to know how to play the game, homie. You know what I'm saying? You can't be no sucker, simple ass nigga. You got to be a stand-up nigga and willing to lose a bitch. You feel me? Right. right. If you if you if you if you on her bumper, nigga, you 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 gonna you, you gonna spin the bag, homie. She gonna guarantee. So that's a, that's a, that's about to sum it up like that, homie. And that's just how that that's so so the younger generation they 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 got more power and play with their age bracket. 
like we did at that time? Or is it or is it slim for the young dudes with the females too? I think them young dudes I think I think they see this kind of like it's it's it's, it's, it's kind of fucked up for them, bro. That's why all these niggas. That's why I think all these niggas is doing the snatch and grab and you know what I mean, trying to trying to get the bag, homie. You feel what I'm saying? For the females. Yeah, cause them niggas, you gotta think, man. When that EDB shit hit, you had a lot of cash that was up that never had money in their life, bro. Right. You feel me? And that kind of like you know. Nigga, nigga, and selling pussy was at an all time high. You know, whether we knew it or not, they was charge, they was charging us for it through through yeah. the cash we was spending and splurging and having a good time. That's how a lot of dudes got fem extra females at that time. You saying too? Exactly, exactly. Cause, cause, guess what? You had a lot of niggas who didn't have no game, who never had shit. All of a sudden, now you got a bag. So, you know what I mean? You know, if you don't know how to play the game, you're not good with women, homie. These females gonna finesse you. You know what I mean? You got some dudes that can't really talk to a female, hold a conversation, homie. You know what I mean? You got some niggas that was undesirable, you know what I'm saying? But they like bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? And that shit costs. Therefore, you know, and, and, and remind you the, 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 the you know, the, the times we in right now, you know, you got the coochie rappers. You know, the females, all they talk about is dick and pussy shit on these raps. Us as black people, rappers are hella influential to, to, the, to the young the young people. You know, that's just like when we was growing up listening to N.W.A., you know what I'm saying? Ice Cube and all that shit. Yeah, we, we was running out getting curls and jewelry and khaki jackets. Exactly. So based on us being black, not really having a culture like that, bro, you know what I'm saying? We we turn to music, homie. That's that's like the closest thing we got to represent us as a collective, homie. You know what I'm saying? And we weaponize each other. We use it as a weapon against each other. Yeah, cause we cause we cause we hate ourselves, bro. Black people hate themselves. You know? That's just what it is. You know? So if you think things. Could, you, could change, homie, amongst the women and amongst us, homie. What would you say if things can kind of go back to old fashioned? You know what I thought about this, homie, and it's like it's too much damage done, homie. It's too much damage done. I can't, I can't really see it going, you know, a different way than what the, than the way it's going, homie. You know what I'm saying? Can you? Man, homie, it's, and I guess that's why some dudes, homie, you look at some homies and some people, and after time went on and they probably seen this before other people seen it, that's what make a dude or a woman just stay with what they got after going through so much. Because you get to traveling in the world and seeing what it's about, and once you meet, meet a certain criteria in your life, you be kind of like thinking, do I want to still play these games, homie? And dudes like us... See, we gangsters and old school dudes, but we, I'm, you know, just to keep it clean with the viewers and the female, we love hoes, homie. A lot of gangsters love hoes, homie. And what not? What I mean is not just straight hoes, but just how they, you know, like the hood rat, the atmosphere like that, homie. So that's what draws to that nature, homie. But uh, but we not into just spinning a bag to keep these females around us because at our time they was accessible for us. You feel what I'm saying? So. Right. So I feel like, man, it's, I'm like you, man. This probably ain't no way out. You probably got to lock something down, make what you got jazzy as a motherfucker, and stay moving, homie. What you, what, what you would say? I just think that, you know, we, we got to choose wisely, homie, who we accept into our lives, homie. You know what I'm saying? Either, either, either they're going to be an asset or a liability. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know, you got some cash, so... You know, going off of how a female look, he wouldn't, you know what I mean, take care of her and, 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 and you know what I mean, let her talk her shit. And, you know what I mean? A real nigga not going to do that, homie. A real nigga, you know, us as black people, period, homie, that's fucked us up a lot. We, we you know, they, they say we don't we don't know how to choose our mates and all that shit, you know what I mean? But I, I feel like through trial and error, 
you gonna learn what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we, we older now, bro, so, you know, nigga ain't got time to be fucking with no, no whole ass bitch or no, 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 you know, bitch who ain't, who ain't on the same program he on, bro. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And if a young female do like us, why would she like an older dude uh, uh, of our status? Not just saying particularly us, but an older dude. W would you say she had to be checking out your style, uh, 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 see interest in you? What would make them uh, fall into a dude like us, homie? Well, you know, I done had young females that, you know, that, that I didn't even know that had their eyes on me for years. I mean, they actually, like, was kids watching me that grew up, you know what I'm saying, finally, you know what I'm saying, was, was old enough. And, you know what I mean, came in and let me know how they been feeling about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, and then really want shit. You know what I mean? Then, didn't want no material shit or no money. Just just wanted to be in my presence, you know what I mean? You feel me? Because they was cut from that old school cloth, so it take a certain type of cloth for a female exactly. to gravitate to as well, homie. Exactly, but I don't know, like these days, man, the females just, I don't know if it's like that no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know what I mean? Because it's so, they all, they all they worried about, I ain't gonna even say all of them, because you got a lot of young females that's working, you know what I'm saying, that's independent and got their own shit. Right, it's, shout out to those females. Yeah, it's, it's different levels to it, you know what I mean? But, you know, you just gotta choose wisely, basically. So, so before I let you go and close it out, do you think it's older females of our age group still trying to use they, uh, uh, Thing as a weapon and slang it too to keep up with the young females? Uh, I think older females are more like they're on their own program because they know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't gonna even say <laughs> some, some, some of them feel like they better years are, 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 are behind them. So, you know, when females get older, they, 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 they looking for the real deal, bro, most of the time. They not they not out here playing games because they they didn't they didn't already did all that or you know what I'm saying? Right. One of them ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? So but when a female get older, you know, she she pretty much, you know, she be ready. She she really her, her ultimate goal is to get married, homie. You feel me? Right. And, 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 and settle with one dude. And us at, at our age, we at that's that's really what we wanna be with. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Fuck texting them young bros, you know what I mean? I mean, it be, it be some nice looking ones out here, but you know, you got like I said, you gotta have that self control. Let them do them, you know what I'm saying? Cause they still, they still growing, growing and learning. You know what right. I'm saying? Let them do them, you know right. what I'm saying? So if you could say something to the young dudes and the young females before I close out, what would you say, man? Uh, for the young dudes, I would say. Uh, you know, focus on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Put more more energy into you and your growth. Figure out what you're gonna do. You know, pre pre plan your pre plan your life for when you get older. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't wait to the last minute and be trying to you know what I mean out here fucking up in the streets and shit and, and wait till you get like in your thirties and try to you know what I'm saying. Uh, figure shit out. Right. Start, start investing in your future while you're young. You know what I'm saying? Get, get, you, get you a job, bro. Right. Get you a job and start your business. And, and, you know, get you together, homie. You know what I'm saying? When you do that, you know, you're going to be able to have a ticket a letter. You know what I'm saying? And choose wisely. You know what I'm saying? Don't, right. don't be out here just, you know, uh, super sprung over you know what I'm saying? A female that ain't really tripping on you just because she look good. I mean, focus on you. Put put that energy in you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And to the females, what would you say, man? That's doing their thing and trying to use they 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 uh thing as a weapon or 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 a, a cash value. Well, I feel like you know, when females young. Enjoy that shit while you can, because guess what? You ain't going to be young forever. You know what I'm saying? That face ain't going to be looking like how it's looking now forever. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, 
You know what I'm saying? You uh, you don't fuck yours off out here. You know what I'm saying on that bullshit. You know. Man, I appreciate you on the show, LSD. You know the What's way up, in. Anytime, anytime, yeah, bro. yeah. From a hood perspective, on modern women, homie, and uh, For shit. Sure. Yeah, I'ma close this out. For sure, homie.